I hope you're not easily frustrated because if you are, it would be best you didn't drive a car. Hello everyone, welcome back and you guessed it. Today we'll be looking at road raging idiots that make the roads hazardous to drive on. Without further ado, let's begin. That red Mustang driver has a lot to say and has parked his car right in front of the other one just to prove a point. The driver is just as red as his car at this point. While driving on merging lanes, this driver was almost forced by a bigger car to give it way, but held strong and didn't give in. It's not about the car, it's about the person driving it. This driver also doesn't let another car merge ahead of him because he had the right of way. He was later caught on by the road rager and deals with him equally. Hey. What's wrong with you, dude? Trust me, I don't want to shoot you. Call the fucking police. Why are you going to shoot me? Because you made my son run in the Hey, field. hey, if you want to shoot me, shoot me. Go for it. Shoot me. If that's what you want to do, shoot me. Hey, shoot me. Shoot me. Here's why you shouldn't bully everyone you come across on the road. The driver on the right car understood that, but in the most convincing of ways. After seeing this idiot park his car on the zebra crossing, this pedestrian thought he would show him just how inconvenient it is for everyone crossing the road. A bunch of unruly teenage wannabes try to open the door of this car and throw things at her for some weird reason. Learn to compromise a little princess. Even though the blue car cuts the driver off completely wrong, he still manages to build the audacity to brake check him for no reason. We all know those speed bumps don't require that much braking. If there's one type of person you should never cut off on the road, it's grannies because they will teach you a lesson you never knew you could learn, and you can't even talk back to them. Okay, stop! A biker got into a quarrel with a cyclist on the road and the latter had the audacity to spit his gum at the biker. I'd be mad and furious too, who could blame him? It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. Willst du mich verarschen, Alter? So der Scheiß. Hey, komm her! Komm her, du! Was soll das? Ja, hol! Hol her! Was spuckst du mich denn an? Clearly someone didn't have their morning coffee today and is in no mood to get out of this situation rationally. At least now they have four-wheel drive, huh? This pair of girls find themselves behind a Karen that just won't go even when the light is green. So she uses a sound louder than Karen herself, the horn of her car. Get back in your car! Watch! Watch! <laughs> Go, bro! <laughs> bro, go, bro! What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Karens are literally the only people you will find doing the craziest of things to other people. Why was she rubbing her shirt on his car in the first place? Doing? Stop wiping on my car. What is wrong with you? I got vomit in the backseat of my car because of you. Are you joking? What? I need your information for reckless driving. No, you know. Hey, uh, stop. Cutting people off in a drive-thru is something only the pettiest people would do. Case in point, these people. That'll just end up messing up their orders too, won't it? We 
I was first. I, I was first. I ordered first. No, I did. No, no, she wasn't. It's okay. If there's any damage to my vehicle, you're, that doesn't doesn't matter. There's not any damage, so calm your little Look, look. Just say hi to the camera. Look, look. <laughs> I think they're hungry. Don't you just love it when your mom is driving and she starts yelling at people when they make her angry on the road? You know she'll show them who's boss for sure. Where you going, bitch? Oh! No. You got a problem? You better learn how to drive to quit eating, you fat bitch! Drive! Oh my God. Drive! Drive! Get the drugs alone! Oh my God! What do you do when you have Kyle, who's just as scared for his life and is all bark and no bite, screaming at your window in the middle of the road? Just turn into a statue and ignore him. This woman thought it would be nice to call this guy out for moving into Denver, but he enlightens her about him being in the army, and boy does she make a U-turn right there and then. <laughs> what was that? And there's this little Get the fuck out of Denver! Show all your motherfucking friends out so you don't move here! You haven't had any coffee yet? Dude, no? think of all you moving here! Oh, the, the military brought me here, is that a bad thing? No, I'm oh, okay. I'm sorry. All right. It's almost pointless trying to get what you rightfully earn these days. Just because this person didn't let the driver merge, she bangs the car with her door. Damage goes both ways, idiot. Pickup truck drivers have a variety of driving skills and different types of tolerances for road rage. When this one was confronted, he literally followed the other driver around town. Dude. Nice blinker. Nice blinker! Dude, you cut me off! Oh, now he's got a light bar on. Is this the guy? Dude, why are you following me? Alright, so I just took a detour to get away from this guy. He's not following me, we're looking good. So far, so good. There's no way. This is actually the guy. She wants to play around. How possessive are you when it comes to not sharing your lane with someone who is already in it? This pickup driver just set a brand new standard just for that. How blind of a driver are you to first cut off someone and then second, block off a whole lane without realizing that people are behind you? He later even has the energy to argue. Nice! Nice! War nur der Reifen, war nur der Reifen. Was? Das war scheiße! Du hast keinen Schulterblick gemacht! Was heißt die Schulterblick, wenn man rechts rüber zieht? Ich glaube, ich habe das nicht gesehen oder was? Natürlich hast du mich nicht gesehen. Same Arschloch, ey. Sometimes all it takes is a little shout and you can stop someone from road raging in the middle of the road. I can feel the secondhand embarrassment from across the screen. Just in case you want to measure the pettiness of drivers, compare them with a BMW owner. Look at this lazy idiot blocking the way for a fire engine because he doesn't feel like moving.
Speaking of which, this black BMW driver gets behind the car himself, sees he's going to slow and in this case the speed limit, passes him by and then even brake checks him. Why? After getting into an argument, these two drivers show each other just how good their throwing arm is and take turns throwing this same bottle again and again until someone steps in. It's car! I know, I saw it. That was so bad. He's just chilling. Look, look! Oh, he threw a bottle! <laughs> he kicked it! Oh my gosh, James, that's hilarious. Yeah. He's, oh, he's gonna. Oh my god, James! There's gonna be a fight! Oh, I'm so ready for this! Oh my god, he's gonna see this. Ah, oh, he's seeing me recording. Oh my gosh, he's calling him on. Is he fighting? Yeah, yeah. They're throwing bottles at one another. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so mad now. <laughs> Do we stay here? This driver is almost turned into by this Mercedes, who later finds the same car parked behind him at the drive-thru. He takes advantage of the situation instantly. And if I can do that with a Dr. Pepper. Hey, hold up one second. Yo, what the fuck did you just say? Huh? Did you fucking make the U-turn in front of me? I got a dash cam. You want me to call the cops right now and see that fault? Huh? I will. You fucking pulled out in front of me making a U-turn, you dumb fuck. I was not fucking speeding, you dumb piece of shit. Grandpa here ends up falsely accusing this girl of drunk driving, maybe because she took her hands off her steering wheel for a second. All I can say is, she's not the one who sounds like she's had a couple of drinks. Hands free and you're on the fucking phone, yeah. Get off the phone and show the police that when they pull you over, because I've already called them. And it looks like your eyes are a little drunk too. I already told them that, you're weaving in and out. You're avoiding stoplights. Yeah, you're drunk. Drunk driving. And driving without hands, yeah. People who take two business days to order in a drive-thru just get on my nerves, and this girl seems to be doing it on purpose. Sorry, I ordered 50 I guess you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait! If you've ever played GTA 5, you might understand the NPC behavior during this interaction. I see no difference, to be honest. Is there a problem? Yeah, you, you got fucking on the drive! Huh? I got a what? You're dangerous! How? You fucking cut me off and you're fucking dangerous! Hey, man. Get off the fucking road! You get off the road. Learn to fucking drive! You drive! Get out of here! How crazy do you have to be to be able to pull something like this off in the middle of a busy highway? The idiot in the white car gets lost in his thoughts and ends up rear-ending this car, after which he just drives away like he left the oven on at home. After getting away from this intersection, the Toyota Corolla driver hogs the fast lane while going slower than the car in the slow lane. He brake checks the car only to end up digging his own grave. Looks like someone doesn't feel the need to pay their parking ticket. The poor HRV behind him gets collateral damage for no reason. How are people with anger management issues allowed to drive a car, and why do they always have a bottle full of water ready for action, locked and loaded with them? Some people get too impatient on the roads and write their own rules in their own rule book. I hope they start making them out of concrete next time. A maniac driving on the roads of California loses his cool over a violation and starts hurling abuses at a poor family. If you can't take a simple honk, why are you behind the wheel? Are you kidding me? Daddy? Are you kidding me? Daddy? Nobody. Daddy? Get back in your car, sir. Get back in your car, sir. Come on, nigga. You want some? I would like you to get That's back in I your saw, car. That's what I motherfucker. You need to calm down. Oh, nigga, what's up then, nigga? Get back in your nigga, car. shut the fuck up! Lights green. Shut the fuck up! Wow. Fuck up in front of your kids, motherfucker. Wow. 
You're on camera, by the way. Good job. An officer directing traffic is always to be obeyed. If not, he might end up slapping your car out of rage just like this, and that's justified if you ask me. A few bikers asked this driver to stop hogging the bike lane, upon which he tried ramming them off the road, which only made things worse for everyone. people have no shame, why do they still have the guts to be aggressive even though they were completely caught red-handed doing something stupid? After trying to aggressively overtake the other car in merging lanes, this BMW driver regrets being this impatient. This crazy driver comes the wrong way on a roundabout and rams her car into another. You can clearly tell how angry she is. So this guy spewing anger tells us just how cross he is at the other driver. Imagine you've got stupid people like this on the road with a driving license that fly into our car, we just bought this thing and just mangled up the road. Imagine that. We just had the thing MOT'd. Imagine that. All the fronts mangled and everything. The airbag's gone off. The lot. We've just picked it up from being MOT'd. Imagine that. Imagine. Road Rage brought out the Hulk in this guy. He even shows off his muscles before punching a car made of metal. Finally, someone who showed them slow, fast lane hogging Prius drivers who is boss. <laughs> Tell me you're in Belgium without actually telling me you're in Belgium. We are witnessing this. <laughs> the smart car driver cuts him off and he's the only one who's angry. Does he even know what the lie is? Looney Tunes just got a remake and here's them driving around like a couple of idiots. <laughs> <laughs> 